Hello, amazing humans. We are going for part two for being able to talk to you about legacy, leadership, and amazingness. We have an awesome human, Robert, who is going to be joining. And I'm super excited for this to be shared in a super expansive way, in a way that empowers you to overcome your failures, overcome the resistance, the fears, the unknowing, and we had part one, but for whatever reason, Facebook is being a bit of a, um, All right, I'm here. All right, here we go. Right. 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 My, I think it's the right way. I hope. I'm not sure if this is. The right way. I think it is so. Is yeah, we're good that way. Okay, I was like, I'm not sure with the phone. All right, so <laughs> I just talked to because we were doing an amazing live and talking about legacy, legacy leadership, and evolutionary, <laughs> and you know, your failures, the successes of how a morning person or how to create. Um, a routine that works for you to show up around amazing leaders, how to be epic, how to be of service, how to solve a bigger problem to create more abundance, like all so many things we covered part one. But we mm -hmm. wanted to go a little bit deeper, Ian, to giving you more stories and more vulnerability of what steps people take or what steps I've taken to really get over the fear or the illusion of fear of not being sure. Did you say mm -hmm. that's correct? Do you want to add anything, Robert? Yeah, yeah the, the big, big thing, I don't know what, what you're saying there, is that, that illusion of fear is the thing that we got to really be conscious about. Because, because one, one of the, of the biggest, biggest things is that, you know, know I've heard a lot of say, you know, fear is not for false evidence, hearing real, Right? right, but, but the, the thing we always, always talk about, about the book is always, always bigger big in your mind than he is in real life. life. And, and that's, that's kind of the, the thing that I like everybody to say. Don't be wrong. Your mind, mind can, can create, create some, some really scary books. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's real weird. weird. It's, it's real anxiety that you're feeling. But it's, but it's because, because of the fact that you made a literal mountain out of all of Yeah. I totally agree, and I feel one thing that, you know, when I was saying, like, I first had a program, I sold $997, it was six calls, I had, like, a lot of Facebook and a lot of, like, a, a lot of things going on, and I was like, wow, I really don't value what I'm doing and the results that people are getting, and I was like, wow, this can really change someone's life, and, you know, I need to get to take better care of myself for this to really be, like, where, the level that I'm impacting. And from that space, there was a second event that happened where I was barely making, I guess, at around $2,000 a month, and I invested $30,000 to scale mm -hmm. because I really know and really believe if you're looking at even business, if you're looking at countries, even if you take this to country level, to really like scale or to really improve or to really develop, you either have to cut cost, invest in yourself, or make acquisitions. And that's exactly. just the biggest way. And that's like just a business and even country setting. So like it's no different when it comes down to an individual human. And you know, all the failures, all the no's that I've had, like I've had far many more clients tell me no, like they're not doing it, than I have said yes. But the ones that do, the ones that actually are ready to make a difference, like they are making a massive difference. Like between all of my social medias, I've built it up, I think, to around 20,000 between all of them um, within since February. And when you look at that, like, I don't have 20,000 clients, I'm impacting 20,000 people. And it's again, that level of leader and that level of service and getting over again, it's not about money, but it's about the people that you're servicing and what you're doing, you should be doing it because you love it so much. And it like really makes a difference. And when you're coming from that place, like fear cannot happen. Anxiety cannot happen. Like I said, I mean, it happens for a minute. It happens for a moment in time. But you realize how much bigger and more expansive your vision, your dream, and your mission here is this is in this world, and that people are really mm -hmm. waiting for you to show up in the process. And exactly. and, I, and I think one of the kind of that point 
is that so some so, so, so foundational for that, that is that having a quick vision. Like, like a lot, a lot of, times of times people have that, that gut feeling. They have that earth thing, right? right? They have the intuition of what they're supposed to do. But talk a little bit about how important it is to get clear on what your vision is, on what your purpose is, on how it is that you're serving the world. Yeah, so like when I started this call off here, part one, like I talked about, well, this was my morning routine because I already had such an expansive morning. It's not even 11.30 a.m. my time yet. And I already had so many events that have occurred and, and things that have happened, but really your vision and back to the intuition, like it's just like exercising. It's just like um, getting a promotion. It's just like working, I mean, anything, like trusting your intuition. That's like the universe or the world trying to come through you in a more expensive way. It's trying to let you connect to a vision that's greater. And, you know, when you listen to my story, you know, I say like my big dream at the moment when I was like, oh, I've arrived is once I would have lived internationally. And, it's only expanded and expanded and expanded. You know, as human beings, we desire to grow. We wish to grow. Like, we want to make an impact. We're here to serve. We're here to be creators. And, you know, it's easy to say, like, oh, we're well, calling you have a magic gift or you did this. Like, I don't have any magic gift. It's just what are you willing to give up in order to live into your vision? What are you nice. willing to give up? Because the the me that was just leading corporate is not the me that gets to function now being around massive leaders being around massive humans like even the me who was like a month ago is not the me mm. that is today like i'm always right, letting right. things go to come into that and like, connecting to that vision and like making them like even this morning like it was great to make money before i got to bed and a, a big resistance i had and i'll share this because it was a huge resistance i had that was hurting my business is I was scared to do recorded videos and send that to people because I felt it was ingenuine. I, all the excuses, I thought it was ingenuine. I wasn't sure, like, oh my God, you can't send it to a funnel. Like, that's just not true. Like, those are just lies and stories we tell ourselves to protect ourselves. And I finally yeah, did it last yeah. week, like, did the videos and all the things. And, may, I, and it worked. I was able to service them while I was sleeping. That was there, there you go. That was massive. And that the next step and that the next place of like, it's not about you. It's not even about you. It's about connecting to a vision again, back to when I started a story out, it's about the vision that you're serving others. It's about the vision that you're being true to others. It's about the place that you're not just making money, but you're purposely making money. The first mm -hmm. example, I like to say this a lot, like, you know, a percentage of everything we make at Colin Gallagher International goes to a charity. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, even my employees now, every percentage that we have them measured on, on things about income and every percentage of an income that they res resonate monthly gets to go to something that they care about to make an impact for social injustices. <laughs> now, exactly. you're using that with corporations or even when you're using that with yourself, that actually influences buying behavior and actually is able to, as a person, as a human, you're actually in, able to influence buying behavior from taking yeah, away yeah. from big brands. And yeah, yeah, no, against no. big brands, I'm, I'm saying you have the availability. Like, this is scientifically proven. This is research proven that yeah. you right now in yeah, this yeah. moment have the ability to give a smile, a dollar, whatever. And then like being able to embody that and you really can make a difference with whatever it is you're here to do. And, and you know, those vulnerabilities I'm sharing with you, like it always wasn't that way. It wasn't always that way. Right, right. But I, I evolved right. and I keep evolving because the, the more... If you can't handle, like there was like one thing, if you can't handle talking about $5,000 or $2,000 or maybe $1,000 is a lot to you, like maybe that is a lot. And, and everyone's, they're doing like, it was a lot to me at one point. But if you, if you can't invest that into yourself, how do you expect to be the multi-billion, trillion, whatever version of that you desire? Like how do you expect to spend the money to get that private jet? Like if you can't exactly. be there of that service, but that's the lifestyle you want, but you can't even fathom that amount of money to talk about in your field. Exactly. And it's so, so funny, funny to point that because one of the two things, first, things, first of all, I want to tell you, we didn't we talk, talk about, about this beforehand, but, but it's, it's so, so crazy, crazy how, how line and half, 10% of all the revenues to go to the bank leadership to go to a charity every year. It's same to do the but, but every year, a different chair, and 10% of our revenue goes to It's important, important to be that, that person, right? right? To, to be, be the person that's not holding on to every, every cent and every dollar. To realize that you're a vessel for money to flow through. Money is just like energy. Energy is supposed to flow through. Anywhere that gets stagnant, 
bad things have happened, right? He lets it have an in, uh, uh, inflow and an outflow. The water is beautiful. The light is beautiful. They're great. The dead sea is dead sea because it does water flows in and go nowhere. Nothing can live in that environment. And it's so crazy. The frontier side said this, this book has no heart. Right, right. Be, do, then have. And one of the things we're talking about that I want to is that you have to be the person that does the thing to have what you want. It starts with becoming that person. The way you think, the way you think yourself, the way you you carry yourself, all of that before you get the results. And that's that's one of the key of legacy leadership, right? right? You You have have to to teach your people. When you're teaching them to do it, you got to teach them to have a mindset of accomplishment. But the trick with it is you have to also teach them that they are already in the process of becoming the leader when they're doing it. Because so, so many, many people grow up with this idea, idea that like lead, leaders, leaders are separate, separate leaders, leaders are apart. No, no, when you're when learning you how to be a dude, you're, you're developing the foundation of how to be a very excellent leader. But you've got to get into that reality. You've got to let go of doing. Do. Because there's a leader. Like, when you hire people, if you, you have to step out of the way, they can actually do the job well. Right? right? One of the people, one of the things that I love is, 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 is if, if both of us are doing this job, one of us is right? right? right. right. <laughs> and that's yeah, so, so, it's so crucial so that you're not talking about, about that. go of that, that idea, idea of work beforehand if you want to go and get that stuff. you got to become that person. The person that's the most ideal, the person that's the most the person that has something that needs quarter goals all the time, that leads a whole different way than the team that's always coming up short and has had meeting and, you know, two out sessions at the end of the quarter. And you have it at the meeting, you have to step into that. Step into that. Really, really awesome that you said it, and I want to make sure that got that point. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, a big thing that, you know, what I say with evolutionary transformations, like evolve your mindset to transform your life. And this is not like just a one time thing, like you're always going to be doing it. And, you know, back to the first part that we did, like listen to that part where I said when I met, when I met someone who was a multi-billionaire, like he's solving a problem to make like illness, like, like a choice, you know, like, and that's something that's like requiring leaders and scientists and he's solving a major problem. It's going to impact more people. Like what problem are you solving? And the reason like you feel like you're not satisfied with your life or you're stuck or you're unsure is because you know, like I truly believe everyone is here and everyone has the capability to solve a problem. We all desire to serve. We all desire to be creators. We all desire to be like holistic well-beings and like really do right, right. the best that we can to empower others with our gifts to rise. Like really that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Like that is our natural state of life. That is our natural state of being. But the place that that comes in is so often is is back to the money of oh but this or this doesn't make sense but by going into that by going to that place you're not allowing mm-hmm. yourself to evolve you're not empowering yourself to transform you're not acting in service you're acting out of fear and back to what you said of how do i get over the fear i don't tolerate getting lost in that and when i catch mm-hmm. myself getting lost i have triggered around me to bring me back to love it's always going to happen where you're triggered, but how quickly can you come back to love? How quickly can you come back to the truth? How quickly can you come back to vision? How quickly can you come back to seeing that your fears, your vulnerabilities, that is the truth of service. And that is the people, that's the place people want you to apply. And, you know, this is my story. Like, you know, when I share it and you listen to it and, you know, there's things in there that are pretty vulnerable I share about. Like, that's not, those aren't things that I'm necessarily maybe proud of or there's things that I'm there, but... Those are all part of me getting to where I am. And, and you know, even mm-hmm. to waking up and making money while you're sleeping. And like, you know, that's something that we all have available to us with technology. Like, we all have that. And it, 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 when you're of service, though, it's when you create place of service that this happens. And it's when you're into that place 
that is when magic happens. Like it's not supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be in this place. It's supposed to be from a super like expansive, fun, loving, just traveling world or whatever it is you want. Like it's supposed to be right, right. that good and you get to have right. it available to you. Everyone deserves to feel this. Stuff. Like you deserve it. I truly believe that you have it available to you at this moment to do whatever you want to make this happen for you. And when I talk to my husband, I the leader part, right? He learned through becoming a good doer, through becoming a good person, you learn that it's more than just about, you learn that there's something out there that's bigger than it's your tribe, if it's the world, if you know, your company, whatever it is, you learn to, to be able to put the needs of the many in front of your sacrifice. But I feel like a lot of people get to that frustration point because the, the, the mindset they have, what the manager's mind, right? They think, they think about how to make things instead of how to lead people. And they, they, they use the tools that we have from being technical, right? That from being good at whatever we do. Right? But, but the, the interesting, interesting thing about, about those tools, tools is that, that they are not equipped, equipped to, deal to deal with the, the miracles, miracles that people are. Right? right? And, and so, so what, what I, I do with, with my clients, I really work to try to help teach them is how to develop the leaders mindset, how to own your vision, how to understand your communication and how powerful it is in your as a leader, but then also how to have certain Tools, like you talked about, certain systems to make sure you're always operating in a leadership zone. And it's for getting that safe space for your people to evolve, to develop, to become their best self. Totally. So it's so cool that you know that you point it all out. Because I love being that people who are basically have that that same understanding. Totally. And, and, you know, even the place that, you know, you get to be at now and the place that, I, you know, I've gone with my um, business and brand and where I'm going is, you know, people come to you now. Like when you, I, you know, you don't even, I'm not even at a place anymore where, you know, they're, oh, I don't know, I'm going to get clients. Or I'm gonna, like, it's just my natural state to wake up in abundance. It's just my natural state that people want to work with me. It's just my natural state. Like there is no huddle. There is no grind. There is no, yeah, yeah. it's my natural state. Like I don't need an automation tool or like, you know, it's it's a plus of a greater service, but I get to just start by being me, and that's how people come, and that's what gets to happen for your life too. And I really believe we're all powerful manifestors. Like we all are, we all are meant here to do epic things. We all are here to do amazing things. And the way that I've gotten to success is going to be very different than the way of someone else because my lifestyle is very different, Zion, than maybe the lifestyle you want. So. You don't want to just go and kind of like copy someone and do what they're doing. Like, you know, I kind of got lost in that for a while. So I was like, oh, I want to be like this person, this person. I'm going to do exactly what they did. And that's not going to work. You know, you can try it. You can do it. And you went a lot along the way. But, you know, really like connecting with your truth. And that's in my first book. I write about that a lot. Like what that means to you and what your struggles are, what you overcame. And sharing that because that's what the world wants to be. And that's the service you get to play in. And, and that's the place. So... Yeah, I, I'm super excited that we have to share this this vibration together. We have to create this container together. And, you know, if anyone wants to contact us, we have questions about anything that we talked about. I know Robert and I would be so happy to go deep with you into any questions of what you're doing and any questions of fear or doubt. And, like, we can let you know our own stories and, and go into that. Like, we're really here to serve and we really believe in you. And, you know, if you're seeing this and, and you know someone who needs to hear it or you're like, oh, my God, this is this is a step. Like, both of us have lots of resources that you are able to look at and, and get into. And I just really hope for the space that you're here and the space that, that we held and everything that we gave that you really get to see – your truth is of highest service to the world and the world is really waiting to give you everything in order to really let you succeed and it's it's the world's waiting for you people are waiting for you and 
It's you getting yeah. to choose and say to yourself, I'm worthy and I'm deserving and embodying that worth to really go to that next level of service, to go to that next level of leader, to really start one step at a time and not comparing, but honoring you for even being here in this space. Definitely. Definitely. So, so before, before we get, we get off, off here, here, what's, what's the, the best, best place, place to, to find you? you? Yeah, I'm on almost a lot of social media. So any social media, but the best one that I'm on is um, Facebook, this one. So it's, I think, Colleen.Gallagher111. Or my Instagram is Colleen underscore Gallagher underscore. Um, and I do have a few things coming out super soon, um, which is amazing. And I know Robert is also an epic human here to empower leaders. So if you're on here and you were able, like, leave us a comment, hashtag replay, let us know. Feel free to share, tag someone who deserves to hear this, desire to hear this, and you know that they have a message that gets to be transformed in service to others in this world. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Here you go. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Appreciate it. If everybody, everybody is looking at me, Facebook is the best the place to do the majority of everything I do. Hashtag, Hashtag leaders. leaders, and you can find find the resource. resource. I put, I put together, together a, a step, step video, video series. It's called My Legacy. Leg 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 understand the print 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 print